Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to see introduction about Routhervitz criteria. So this is a criteria which is used to tell whether a system is stable or not from its closed loop transfer function, right? So this is an example. This is a closed loop transfer function of a system, right? So in this expression, this denominator term is known as characteristic equation, right? So here I had written that one. The denominator polynomial of closed loop transfer function is called characteristic equation. So in the given example, this part 8s cube plus 4s square plus 2s plus 10 is the characteristic equation, right? So the next thing is from the characteristic equation, we are going to tell whether a system is stable or not, right? So how we can tell that you just see here for a system to be stable the roots of the characteristic equation should lie on the left of the s plane right. So the first thing is we have to find out the roots of this equation. So this is our characteristic equation right. So from this characteristic equation we have to find the roots. For example you see when you look at this. Here, how many roots will be possible for this characteristic equation? Three roots, right? Because here the maximum power is three. So when you solve this characteristic equation, you will be having three roots. After finding out the roots, you have to locate it on the S plane. So what is mean by S plane? You see, this is our typical S plane, right? So this is our real axis and this is our imaginary axis. So for a system to be stable, we have to find the roots from the characteristic equation. After finding the roots, we have to just place it in the S plane, right? You have to locate it. For example, after solving the characteristic equation, let the roots be like this, right? S equal to some minus 1, minus 4 and minus 6. How we will locate? We will locate here, right? So here, let it be minus 1. Here, let it be minus 4 and here you will be having minus 6. Suppose, if you have the location of this roots like this, then this then the system is said to be stable, right? So, this is our S plane. So, in this S plane, the location of roots should be on the left half of the S plane, right? Only on the left hand side part, you should have your roots allocated. Even if a single root lies on the right hand side, then the system is said to be unstable, right? Hope I have made you the concept clear, right? Then the next thing is there are three categories of solving Routh-Hurwitz criteria. So the first one is this is a normal Routh array. Okay, normal Routh array is nothing but there will be no zero elements in the first column. Okay, regarding Routh array, you will be having uh, n number of columns. In the n number of columns, we will be considering only the first column. So, if the first column has no non-zero elements, then it is said to be a normal Routh array. Right. Then the next category is a row of all zeros. Suppose if you have a row of all zeros, then there is a special procedure to solve this problem, right? Then the third category is first element of a row is zero. That is you will be having lot of rows. Among the rows, the first element will be zero. If suppose if there is a, if this is the case, then we have to solve by using some special methods, right? Hope you people understand the concept here. Thank you.